Hi folks, I'm Dennis. Today I'm going to unbox and review a Sears Craftsman low profile motorcycle and ATV jack. It's a 1500 pound jack. I just bought it yesterday so we're going to go through the process of uh, unboxing it, setting it up and uh, trying it out on a motorcycle. So thanks for watching my video. Let's get started. There may be uh, better motorcycle jacks out there but uh, I needed one today and Sears is the closest store around in our rural area that has them. So uh, I stopped and picked this up. The regular price is $113. You can catch them on sale sometimes for about $90. I just took it out of the back of the truck and set it in the garage floor. So we'll open it up and see what we got. instructions. Here's the uh, instruction set, optional two inch spacer pads that you can get that'll snap into these holes here to give you an extra two inches of lift five step assembly instructions so that's nice operating instructions maintenance how to operate the tie down strap maximum load capacity 1500 pounds it's got three locking positions the size of this thing is 35 and a half inches long, 17 inches wide, I suppose, and 14 inches high. It weighs 77 pounds. It's not terribly heavy to tote around. It's got cast iron casters on it, which are kind of nice. If you use your tie down straps to get your uh, load secured, you should be able to move around whatever's jacked up. So let's put it together. Make sure the foot pedal is on this side of the, the jack, uh, away from the pads. Slip this rod in the top of the bottle jack into this bracket. Put that thumb screw back in. Put it all the way in. Flip this up. And then turn this around to get your to get your holes on the bottom of the bottle jack lined up with the holes in this uh, this base A they call it. The nice thing is there's not a bag of bolts for this thing. You just, they got the bolts already threaded into where they go, so that helps a little bit. It takes a 14 millimeter wrench. Probably be easier to use a ratchet and a socket, honestly. And you take the uh, foot pedal, take that bolt out of it. This to insert the foot pedal arm into the sleeve of the hydraulic ram and secure with a 8 mil, 8 by uh, 12 hex bolt. So that's that hex bolt. Put it in there, line up the hole. I don't want to over tighten it because I don't want to strip the threads out of this foot pedal, but I want to get it secure so it doesn't fall out on me. This is the height lock release bar. So this goes in here. There's a shoulder machined onto this thing. If you can see that, you got a shoulder here. So make sure that shoulder goes all the way into these, these uh, pieces of tube that are welded onto the bars. Now to get this in right without everything getting in your way and having enough room to put these nuts and uh, washers and nuts back on, go ahead and jack it up a little bit. You'll see it'll raise this bar, give you some room here. You can also use it to get you some levers to get that bar in there all the way. So then take a washer and a nut on the, each end of this rod. Attach a T-handle to a connecting rod with a cotton pin. That's easy. I can handle that. It's got a captive, uh, it's not really a collar pin, it's got a captive hitch pin in it. Yeah, the, the bend on the handle, it's got a crook in it that goes up like so. Put your hitch pin in, captive, put the captive pin on there, and I believe we're done. Make sure all connections are tightened thoroughly. All right, we know that they are, so you can see how it works. You uh, pump it up like so. Jack raisin. All right, right here on the side, these are the locking bars. And you 
you'll see you have three locking positions. This, this rod here catches each lock. You want to make sure that you got it locked in place depending on what height you're working at. You don't want to stop kind of in the middle because this bottle jack will drift down and then you'll, your load's not going to be secure. So you want to make sure that once you get to a working height, you basically just keep pumping it. You'll see how that rod moves back. Okay. Then it's going it, to, you want to make sure then it drops down in between here. Okay. And then you're going to release it until this point gets locked in behind this catch. Now it can't go anywhere. It's going to stay, the jack's going to stay secure where it is because this rod here is locked in. So to release it, what you do is you jack it up so that that point comes out of the, the release point. You pull up on this so that you get that swung out of the way or pull back on it rather and then you can release it with the foot pedal. With the load on the jack it will go on down a little bit faster. Um, then you see once it's past that then it'll go on it'll just continue to go on down as long as you release. Um, some of the other features that I like about it it's got locking casters in the back. They're cast iron so they'll roll with the load on them um, on a hard surface. Uh, they've got uh, they've got lock pins built into with, with feet built into this so once you get your whatever you're working on jacked up and you get it secured with the straps that come with it. Then if you want it to stay put and you want to make sure it's not moving around while you're working on it, while you got it jacked up, you can screw these feet down and that gives you that much more contact with the floor that keeps this jack from rolling around. So that's a nice little feature too. So, all right, let's use it. Then I can take the jack and slide it underneath. You have to make sure that your frame rails under the bike are on top of these pads. And one of the things that I would like to see about this jack is for these pads to be about two inches longer. They're a little short. Um, my bike sits just about on the outer edges of the pads, so I'd like them to be a touch longer. The jack has tie down points. There's one here, one here, and then there's one on each side on the front uh, on the other end for your ratchet, for your uh, strap. So you can, you can hook it in like so. And then you run your strap over the bike. All right, so I don't want to tighten up this strap too much yet because as I lift the jack up, since I'm tied down to the base of the jack, but I'm lifting the bike up, the strap's going to get tighter. So I'm going to leave that pretty loose until I get the bike stable. So I'm going to hold on to the bike uh, back here and on the grip. I've got the weight off the kickstand, so now it's just a matter of getting the bike, making sure it's steady on the stand. So now I've got all the weight off of the tires. The bike's steady and stable. I just feel better if I've got the strap tied down on it. So now I'm going to tighten up the strap a bit. I got the back wheel off the ground. I'm taking the back wheel off today, so that's as high as I need to get it. The bike is real stable and steady. I can move it around on the jack, no problem. That's the nice thing about the cast iron casters. So uh, that's all good. I feel comfortable that I can do whatever I need to do with the bike. I can push and pull and pry. Anyway, that's it. The only other thing I would recommend, be careful when you lower your bike. Uh, the release on these bottle jacks is pretty quick. So, you know, if you hit it, if you push it down just a little bit, you'll see it'll drop real quick. And the heavier your bike is, the faster it's going to go. So go real gentle when you let it down. And make sure you've got a handle on your bike. Make sure you've got the grip and the seat in your hand. Make sure you know what's underneath the kickstand on the other side. Um, and then you should be good to go. Well, that's it. That's the, the Sears Craftsman 1500 pound motorcycle ATV jack setup and demonstration. 
product review. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Appreciate you checking it out. Appreciate you watching my channel. And uh, hope to see you back here soon.